In today's video, we're going to unbox this Imperial 4-pack and we'll also have a look at how the toy rooms come along. Thanks for joining me today, Darth Rock 1, and I hope everything is coming out and sounding good as I'm in my new room, my new toy room. I'm currently sitting up in the background. We'll check, have a wee look at how that's going soon. So today I was able to find in the wild this Imperial Black Series 4 pack, which is fantastic. 60 bucks in NZ at the warehouse, so be sure to pick some up. Be good for army building too so the box is very big quick squizzy at the box and we'll pop them all out so we have the imperial S sand trooper sergeant there looking awesome the crimson stormtrooper in the red we also have lieutenant oxy oxo i'm gonna say he is an imperial tie fighter and r2q5 so we will pop those all out and have a look at them. Give you a nice look at the box there. Pretty standard on the side. We have, I'll show you an image because it's long. This side is an exclusive set and that is our backings. So I will get that up for you to be able to pause and read. Check that out there guys. And also the other side and again, just Feel free to pause it and give it a read there. Very, very cool. So that's the old school looking one with the clear tops as well. Not much at the bottom. There's if anyone wants the skew. Awesome. I am going to take all of these out. We're going to have a look at them individually and go from there. Let's go. So just to show you as we go. Under the side there. And then that is just one tray oh, of everybody. Awesome. I'm going to pop them out. I'll take them out off camera because it's very noisy. So here's everybody out of their box. And this chair was squeaky. So have a bit squeezy, everybody. So the droid here, RQQ5. He is, I compared against my um, Dagobah R2, and he is exactly the same in every way, except obviously the colouring, to the point where all of these bits and pieces come off, and he's got the inside bits too. Which are cool, and all the bits on the head come off, and we've also got the rollout middle wheel by twisting the head. And you've got your articulation in here as well. So identical to R2-D2, except a different colour painting. But it's cool. It's good to have more droids. You can never have enough droids in this. So this is Lieutenant Oxyoxo, I'm going to say. Which I don't have standard TIE Fire pilot, unfortunately. But I do the Inferno Squad one, which is slightly different. But I do like the look. I love the, the chest piece here. Actually, come out looking pretty good. You've got these bits which are detachable. I don't believe that comes off. Yeah, all about the Imperial. So, anything with a logo, I'm sold. It's a bit blurry there. Again, I'm not fully set up here yet, so I haven't quite got my um, proper review setups. He looks good, very, very good. And yeah, after we've looked at these, I'll sort of give you a show of where I'm at with my toy room and what I'm doing with the toy room. And here is the Crimson Stormtrooper, who I designed for, designed for hot temperatures. Exactly the same as the original Stormtrooper, except he's red. But also inside his pouch, you can see it's actually a red inside as well. But they look pretty cool. It's a good look. All about the Imperial, so anything, throw it at me, I'll take it. Bloody lovely. Crimson Stormtrooper. Probably from Mustafa. And the gold. So he comes with just the normal blaster as well. 
which is in his pouch. He just has that blaster. Sand Trooper, look at this, official Black Series Sand Trooper. I do have a couple of knockoffs, which holding this, I can tell on the plastic there's a difference. There's actually a big difference in the plastic here. Um, visual wise, not really, but looking at it, absolutely. So that is very cool. It just feels a lot nicer. And the weathering's a bit more realistic looking, we'll say. Yeah, and he also has the other two. Let's just set the box still there, guys. Those two there. Oh, I only know where he's going. Yeah, even the backpack, it's the detail they've got on some of these things are fantastic. Wicked four pack. I definitely wouldn't mind getting some more. And again, it's an army build you can do here. Right, so now we are going to, now we've checked out those four, nothing huge to go through, calculations, same as the old stuff, but what a fantastic four pack. So now I'm going to show you what's going on in here at the moment. So I will go into lift up, turn around, and you're going to see a mess that's working progress. So sorry for the wobbles, here we go. So this is just a corner table at the moment. So up here I'm going to have a shelf with the big stuff. Recently got me a jet fire, which is awesome. Might review him. So it's just some cards floating around. Stereo Lego, Lego down there. More Lego. These posters, these are going to go up on the wall. This is my VR setup, PlayStation VR. I've been playing Squadrons and it's Awesome. I we'll also have, we'll zoom in there, focus, the Jedi challenges down there. Bunch of figures on the floor. I need going through to set up. More boxes. Jet Fires box, Xcorth. And the that's all my knicker in the box there. That's all the Hot Wheels and the Hot Toys I have. There's my VC, which are going to be going on this wall. That is my episode three in that box, which are going on the wall somewhere. My Star Destroyer, which is sick. Some more figures and posters. A couple of lightsabers. Kylo's is here somewhere. This will most likely be my NECA displays in this little cabinet here. You can see me. Hello. And at the top, I've got my palace set up, which is looking good. I need to fill it up a bit more. And that's just not much happening right now. That was my own mosaicly, which I have need to fix up and finish. Then we come along here, and not sure what's happening here. That was some pretty cool 40th anniversary Empire and a New Hope stuff I've picked up in the wilds. Movies, games, books. That's Black Sarah's Trivial Pursuit. Now this shelf here, because I have a lot, is going to be filled with Imperials, Galactic Empire. Got my little setup here, I still need an old Obi-1, 3PO and a normal R2. Got another Sand Trooper, he's going there. That's discarbonized temporarily, that's temporarily. But so far, I have put all the Mandalorian stuff in here. Both Mandalorians looking sick in the corner. There's a couple of my pictures, postcards. We've got Darth Vader center, as he should be. Or as my daughter Chelsea calls it, Bulgar. Which is very ironic when you think of it. It's because that's where it came from. <laughs> that's just there at the moment. So, so far, that's what's happening. A little bit more on the side there. These are a few of my, I guess, non-Star Wars collectibles. They're a bit dark there, sorry, but I'll give you a squeeze of them when everything's gone, done, and set and ready. So today's review, whoop, right there. And this is what's going on. So I will be back soon, possibly in a live stream. I am I've been invited to a live stream chat with Forces with Jesse. Um, next next week, Saturday, so be sure to check out The Force with Jesse, usual Mike as well will be there, 
and I'm come along for the ride and I should be pretty well set up by then. So be sure to like if you enjoy what you're seeing. It's only going to get better from here. I am thinking about doing some VR Squadrons videos because it is absolutely amazing. So let me know what you think about that. And until the next one, my friends, give in to the dark side and may the force be with you all.